So let's take a look at this Beofang BF888S. Wanted to show y'all these, what they were all about. So the children started asking me for some little FRS radios and I already had some radios by this same brand and I figured hey let's give it a shot and see if they have some FRS type radios and sure enough they did. This is a very simple and easy to use radio. It doesn't have the buttons or a display and I like that for what I'm using this for. The other Beofang radios with the buttons and the everything, that's not going to be as suitable for, for kids to be using. So, wound up getting this on Amazon. I got the link for you down below. It comes with the battery, obviously. It has a clip that you have to install yourself. I went ahead and used some thread lock on these screws. That way they're nice and in place, not trying to come out on us. It has a LED, little light up Power here. On. Three. So that's when you first turn it on, it tells you what channel you're in. Four. Three. Every time you change the channel, it'll let you know which channel you're going to. You can turn that off in programming, I'll show you all that later. It has squelch with holding it down. And then there's your little light. And then if you hold down on this, if you have the setting turned on, it would sound off an alarm. I don't have that turned on. So, then it's flashing LED also. So you uh, key up and it shows red that you're talking. When somebody's talking to you, it sh that little light there shows up green. Went ahead and labeled these because we have so many of these floating around the house right now. All the older little ones have their own radio. And then I have one, my, my wife has one. So we all can just communicate with each other. The reason we wanted something like this is well obviously like I said earlier the little ones were asking for their own radios so that was what started it well then I got to thinking why am I carrying my phone when I'm out on the property outside with the little ones and letting them play so that way she my wife can get in touch with me no need in that anymore now I've got this if she needs me she can hit me up if we're out at the park and we're riding bikes and getting up ahead a little ways I've got communication with her. I don't have to carry my phone all the time anymore. And I really like that. That way I can have just the people that I want getting in touch with me, not the rest of the world. Uh, so anyway, this radio also comes with a drop-in charger. Very nice, well-made drop-in charger. You drop it in, light turns green. It's doing that right now because the battery's giving that LED some juice. If this was plugged into the wall, it would light up red and let you know that it's charging. When it's done charging, then it turns green, as you saw a second ago. The other thing to note with this radio, with the Beofang, they usually are 4 to 5 watt. This radio is 2 watt or half a watt. And in your programming, you can program each channel. Four. Like that channel right there could be a low power or high power. You can set each channel to be whatever wattage you want it to be. And I'll show you that in the programming. So the programming cable is not included with these radios. You do have to purchase it separately. I've got the link for that down below. It plugs in right there. I'll show you that later. And then you can hook it up to your computer. Here's that programming cable I was telling you about. I put the link to it down below. And I've had this for three years. And it's held up good. I've programmed a lot of radios for a lot of different folks. So it's been used a lot. So you go ahead and you plug that in to your USB port. And then on all these Beofang radios. Let me go ahead and show you this other one that I've got. This is another model. It's the UV8 2 and I've had this for quite a while. I upgraded the antenna. It's a, it's a really good solid radio, but they all have, if I can get into it, there we go, that same setup that handles 
this programming cable. So I'm telling you, if I can do this, anybody can do it. Programming these is really easy. So you just plug that in. We won't turn it on just yet. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna pull up this Chirp software. You get it on the website that I showed you. And now, up at the very top up there, it's gonna say radio. Well first, let me show y'all. We'll go ahead and we'll turn this on first. We'll say download from radio. And what I wanna show y'all is just how many radio types are allowed with this software. So, check this out. The software doesn't work for just Beofang. It's also gonna work for all these other different brands. So, it's pretty helpful. But what we're working with right now is the Beofang. We've gotta change this. To the BF888. So then you say OK and it clones the radio. So this is what came on the radio. This is from the factory. I've gotten new radios in and I'm programming them now. So you're getting to see exactly what's on the radio. Not really sure. There may be somebody out here that's watching this that would be able to tell a little bit better what this stuff is. Looks like it's in the ham uh, range, so I'm not going to leave it on the radio. I don't want to be talking on something that could get me in trouble. Since we don't want to leave all this on here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select it all. and delete it, clear it out, and then on the Chirped, Chirp software they have a way that you can bring in the FRS frequencies and the FRS frequencies are safer to talk on. FRS frequencies are what you would be talking on if you were buying a radio at Walmart or Bass Pro or any place like that. It's the family band. I will give you a disclaimer that you should probably check with your local laws and local regulations and make sure that you're not going to get in trouble. I don't want to get anybody in trouble out there. So what that did is that just imported the FRS frequencies and then remember what I was saying earlier, how you can change the power from low to high. So each channel, I could make channel one be low, and then I could come to channel two and set channel two up as high. The nice thing about that that I've found is if we're gonna be close to each other, then we'll use whatever channel I set as a low channel. And if we're gonna get farther away, obviously you'd bump up to high. There's no way to change from low to high on the radio, so when you do your programming, you need to figure out what you're gonna use, and then you'll use it in that setting. That's pretty much it. So, I may adjust that a little bit differently, but for right now, just to show y'all what you would do next, is you would go ahead and you'd upload to the radio. Hit OK, and it's a done deal. So now we're ready to disconnect. I usually turn it off first. Disconnect, and that's it. Radio programmed. So then you'll program your other radio and you'll be able to communicate with one another. If y'all have any questions or comments, hit it up in the comment box. Thanks for watching.